So we talk about Lance building in Battletech, building a list of forces. We've got some battle value, some tonnage, some C-bills, whatever currency you're going to utilize to play. And uh, we put together a list. And there are lots of ways to be developing a list and to be exploring Battletech and getting the most out of your miniature collection. I like to have four or five different list templates, different Lance templates that I'll utilize to mix things up or see how I'm playing if I know the mission ahead of time and I want to configure some things. And um, in this vlog, I want to share with you a focused list, what I like to call um, a tactical overload, a phase overload, which essentially means we're taking all of the battle value we have for the game, whether it's 2K, 4K, 6K, 8K, and I'm putting it into one aspect of the tactics in Battletech. I'm putting it into one phase of the game. I'm going to overload that phase of the game so you can absolutely not respond to it. You can't counter to it. Now, this is um, there's a duality here in that it is very effective, but if your opponent is able to counter it, if they're able to counter it, then you literally have nothing in reserve. You have nothing to counter that counter, and you're going to be in a lot of trouble. On a side note, in terms of playing um, competitively or tournaments, this is just, it's risky to bring this type of Lance build. So usually I don't. This is more of kind of for the fun of it. So we're looking at our collection. We're looking at the different phases of the game. And, and to kind of break it down, I've got a movement phase. I've got a shooting phase, and then I have the physical attack phase, which punching and kicking and push attacks and death from above. I'm going to take all of my battle value and load it into one of those phases. So if I'm going to load it into shooting, then I'm going to take that battle value and take mechs that have long-range missile 20 packs, that have auto cannon 2s and 5s. I'm going to take mechs that have PPCs, stuff that I can just obliterate you 10, 15, 20 shots at range. I'm going to castle up on the left or right side of the hex map. I'm going to limit your area of approach. Um, I will spend a little bit of battle value on some infantry, push them 5, 10 hexes forward. So I've got a defensive ring to slow you down a little bit, meaning you've got to deal with the infantry, at least spend a turn or two blasting them. Because if you move past them, to get to my gun line, to get to my castle of units firing at long range, you're going to give me rear armor on, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20 infantry stands. So I do need a little bit of um, a blocker in there, but I'm spending all my battle value and stuff just to fire out just, just crazy, crazy, crazy. Jaeger mechs, riflemen, blackjacks, stuff with two PPCs, awesomes, longbows, archers, all that type of stuff, just blasting, blasting. Now, if you manage to break through and get close to me, then I'm kind of in trouble because all of my stuff is long range. Second phase, um, we're also looking possibly at combined arms. The movement phase, can I be where you don't want me to be? And can I be where I need to be? Taking massive amounts of hovers, taking massive amounts of fast mechs, just, just sorting through the tech manual and say, give me the fast stuff. Give me the stuff that moves fast. Saladin, autocannon 20 tanks, um, just cheap hover tanks, warriors that move fast, um, warrior attack helicopters, Jenners, releasing the Jenner Swarm, where I'm spending minimal battle value flooding the table with stuff that moves fast, and on the way in, you might take out one or two hovers, but then turn two, I've got five different um, vehicles, two mechs, and a warrior attack helicopter all going on your rear armor. You, you, you just can't outmaneuver me you can't stop me now the counter to that of course is if i want a big open open play field cover i don't even need cover i'm just going to charge out and and move fast if we're playing city fight city tech i draw that map um sometimes when we play kind of every battle tech group has its own kind of flavor if there's a mission you want to play then, then let's play it i'm up for any mission so i, I give first pass to my opponent or you know, my fellow mech warrior, what do you feel like playing? Is there something you want to try out, a mission, a hex map, a build? Let, like, let's do it. Let's roll some dice. But then other times I would say what we usually do is you build your lance first, you come up with a battle value, build your lance first. Then we select a mission randomly. 
Then under the table, we've got like 15 hex maps. You, you flip through them. You can't see them. I shake them up. I flip them up. I mix them up. Then you reach under. You pull out a hex map. That's what we're playing on. So if I build this list, I'm overloading all my battle value into movement, into speed, and we pull up city fight, city tech, dense, then I'm kind of in trouble because there's funnel points. I'm, I'm not really going to be able to overwhelm you at certain areas. You can be defensive. Now you can go um, you know, third dimension by jumping up on buildings. Do I really have a counter for that? That wouldn't work out very well. I'd be in a lot of trouble. I would win on the initiative game, but I'd be in a lot of trouble. Third phase, and, and this would be for the lulls because you got to get up there. Physical attacks. Taking mechs that have the tonnage to inflict damage, but have the speed to get up there. Taking mechs that have the ability to punch, the ability to kick. Taking mechs that have the ability to do death from above. And just like, like here's like three death from above just coming down on you. Just for the lulls. See what happens. Overloading in the physical phase. Now, where that falls apart is our, if we're playing on a on a big map, then that's a problem because you'll just keep on backpedaling. If I'm playing clans, that's against clans, that's hard too. If we play a scenario where it's attacker versus defender and you're defender, that's great because I'm going in to break through in that area in your deployment zone or you know seize the spaceport. You're going to be castled up there. I'm going to get to physical combat in like you know three turns. So certain missions are great. Other missions, not so great. So what we're exploring here is you make your way through Battletech. You're going to have your favorite machines. You're going to do the combined arms things. You're going to pick up some Warriors and Karnovs. And then you're going to have this massive miniature collection. And your player personality, what you like. Don't spend any time playing lances and builds you don't like. The game is too short. Play what you like. But then take that miniature collection and to get the most out of it, look at three, four, or five different ways to build a lance just to try out, just to counter, just to push your tactica. And um, in this phase overload of list building, we're taking all that battle value, pouring it into one aspect of the game. We are overloading that aspect of the game so your opponent cannot counter it. They're unable to counter that much battle value funneled and optimized for that part. Now, if they can, for some reason, or whatever reason, or if it's a blind mission draw that's really bad, well, then you're in trouble because there is no backup. 